Hey everyone, and today we're going to show you all how to make uh, yogurt using whole milk and heavy cream. So, in North America we normally have uh, half and half, which is it's already a combined whole milk and heavy cream into one container. Uh, but the rest of the world doesn't have that. So, today we're going to make the yogurt the way the rest of the world makes yogurt. So I'm going to combine those two using uh, our Therabiotic Complete which is loaded with all this um, fantastic bacteria. And then I'm gonna make another batch for the Ruderi. So it came out like this. Really nice, really nice tasting. Um, interesting uh, uh, consistency. So I gotta say it's a win. So let's, um, let's see how we make this. Hey friends, today I'm gonna show you how to make healthy bacteria yogurt using the Dr. Davis method and we're going to do this like our friends outside of North America by using whole milk and heavy cream. Now you're like why would you do this you can just use half and half and everybody's like well what the heck is half and half? So in the rest of the world uh, they don't use half and half that isn't a thing. Um, that is very even though it's an inc a very common ingredient in the U.S. and Canada that uh, <laughs> half and half is not a thing in the rest of the world. So uh, we're going to make the way we're going to make yogurt the way they do um, to show how they make their half and half yogurt. So today we're going to make it exactly the same way, uh, but instead of just having the half and half that's already made, we're going to split this up with whole milk and heavy cream. Now, um, what we're going to do, I'm showing you how to make it with um, Ruderi, El Ruderi, and a, a yogurt that I call Super Yogurt. And the reason that we're doing this is that if you just take this um, on its own, you get a pretty good bit of CFUs, which is the, um, the measurement for bacteria. So colonies of bacteria, so 37 billion, which is a lot. However, what we want to do is we want to increase this to a high number that you're going to immediately get the benefits of it being able to quickly colonize the small intestine and um, move out that back bacteria that's probably been in there for quite a while. So this is kind of a chart that I go with that kind of helps you understand that every three hours that this is doubling, right? So you start out, say you start out with 20 billion. And then all the way when you get down to 36 hours, you're up to 81.9 trillion colonies CFUs of bacteria in that yogurt. Now granted, you would just uh, divide that by eight because there's pretty much eight servings in each container, but that's a lot. So it, why do you need that much? Well, think about it. You're, you're consuming this and you want this bacteria to get into your gut and get into your small intestine. It's going through a fairly uh, dangerous track, right? You're going through the mouth, you're eating it, bacteria is going to die there, it's going to die in your stomach, and so you want some of it to survive to get into your small intestine. With 81 trillion, I mean, at least would say, uh, what, 10 trillion uh, a serving? I think you're going to get some in there. And so it actually has been proven that it gets in there, um, pushes out the bad bacteria, removes stuff like uh, gingivitis it kills off the germs that create that so so many benefits from this um, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to make this um, I'm going to show you a method that's already that already have some made but I will t I'll tell you what you need to do um, if you want to make this from scratch and I actually need something over here ah. Stretch over there and get this. I was looking for this. <laughs> so, if you were starting from scratch, you're going to need to have, you know, these things. If you want to make a ruderai, then you just need this. Uh, and this is the one that I use. I've been, I'm very fond of this one. Um, it works pretty well. Um, and then if you wanted to make what I call the super bacteria, this is their biotic. This is a, uh, it's a company that makes this for kind of like a, for people that are looking to have gut issues um, but it comes with a lot of bacteria very healthy bacteria in it and they all have pretty much the same um, cook time so you'll get your bacteria 
and then you're also going to need inulin, which helps the bacteria grow, when, especially when you're we're making it from scratch. You're going to need your whole milk, and then you're also going to need heavy cream to mix in. And then, of course, the containers. These are uh, these are Pyrex, so these are not the ones that originally came with my yogurt maker. I, I use a... Uh, apologize, let me get this out of the way. I use a um, Ultimate Yogurt Maker to make yogurt, and it's just... It's easier. I can walk away from it. It has a consistent cook time. And for most of the, almost always, I get really good yogurt. Okay, so if you're making it from scratch, what you're going to use, if you have a pill, so if you have this in a pill, you're going to put one pill per each of these, right? And then you're going to, if you're using this type of, um, you know, like the foods we got, this is a quarter of a teaspoon. Um, to me, that looks like maybe, what, 20, 30 milliliters? I'm um, not sure. but Or maybe less. Anyway, so you get a scoop of this, put it in here. Get a scoop of this, put it in here. Um, if you're using, we're going to do what we're going to do, which is Ruderite and this uh, the Therbiotic, I would take a scoop of this, put it in here. And I would take a scoop of this and put it in here. And of course clean this before you put it in here you don't want to contaminate it with other bacteria that's uh, that's one thing you have to be very careful of make sure you're starting off with clean ingredients clean uh, spoons clean um, bowls everything kind of needs to be clean um, dishwasher clean it just fine um, okay so and then after that you would get a tablespoon of the inulin one in here and get a tablespoon and put it in here and then you would just mix this up a little bit and then then you would get maybe the heavy cream pour a little bit in mix it up really well to make sure that the bacteria and inulin are are pretty good same over here however we already have some made so what we're going to do is I don't need this today now some people will want to put this in with the bacteria that's already made yogurt is made I don't like doing that because um, this gives my stomach some problems and I end up with really good uh, tart bacteria yogurt with and it tastes exactly the same so I'm gonna pass on that and um, just make it with yogurt so I already have some here so this is ruderite and I'm going to get my ruderite And you can use the, um, what is this called, whey, the, the liquid as well if you wanted to. That also has bacteria, but I'm just going to use this. And what I like to do is kind of give it a nice cover the bottom with it. So this is about two, I guess, what, two tablespoons? This is like a serving of this. That's pretty good. Okay, that's that one. That's completed. Let's get this out of the way. All right. So this is our ruderai. Let's move on to our super yogurt. And I have about the same. I have a serving left of this. So when you eat this, when this is done, you're only going to use um, a, a half... I'm sorry, a half of a cup, which is about, I think it's about 230 milliliters. So it's not much, it's not its not much of a serving. So if you eat, so that would be like every day, you would eat half a cup of this, half a cup of that, and that equals just a cup. So it's about, what, um, 460 milliliters of yogurt, which isn't much. It's a good thing I eat it every day for, um, for breakfast that's kind of like one of the my go-to's okay so let's get our heavy cream in here I'm gonna do this kind of clean up our area a little bit okay and uh, we're gonna get down here and let's pour this in and since I've got this in a Already, this is a quart. 
I should be doing all this in metric because that's uh, pretty much what all our friends are using. All right. And you want to be careful in the fat content on this. Um, I know that they uh, folks say that, well, you know, good fat content makes really good yogurt. Um, too much fat content can ruin yogurt, um, especially with the extremely long cook times of like 36 hours. I've seen where um, the, the there's too much fat and it spoils. So be careful on your fat content, which is kind of weird. Look at this, right? So it has 6% fat content. Now the only bummer thing here is that I don't really, in this country, I can't really find some good cream that doesn't have some sort of um, <laughs> thickening agent in it. So I'm guessing this is really like whole milk that they've uh, decided to uh, put a thickening agent in. So the funny thing is, look at this. So this is 10%. So this has more fat content than this does. Kind of curious, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna add some more in here. Actually, you know what would be good? Yeah, let's add some more. Oops, I'm trying not to make a mess. Okay. Let's see if we can get that half and half. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, so those are completed. Now, let's stir it up, each one with their respective spoons. Now, don't worry that, you know, this is not going to, you know, mix completely um, because this is the thicker yogurt is still going to stay on the bottom, but you can definitely mix it up to give it a good start. It is going to settle towards the bottom, which is okay. Don't worry. It's going to make killer yogurt and you'll love it. Okay, there's that. It looks really good and thick. So I'm starting to think that our friends without the half and half are kind of on to, uh, we're going to have some better yogurt than we have. Now, um, if you do have trouble with dairy, there's also, uh, there's also some folks out there that have some good coconut, uh, videos. If you, if you can figure out how to do that, super, you would do something that I don't know how to do. Um, there's also another type of milk that's called A2 milk that you can try. Try a little bit, see if you have any issues before you kind of go all in with the yogurt. Um, I make that as well, and it makes fantastic yogurt. Okay, so those are mixed up pretty well. And now we're just going to put our tops on. And I label these because my family members... Um, they eat different ones so it's for them as well okay so let's go put this in our yogurt maker there's that one and let's get this one okay there's that let's plug it in you see how easy that is so without me jibber jabbering um, the whole process, it only takes like five minutes. It gets really easy. So after a while, when you get used to making this, okay, so I'm adding the water in here because what this, this yogurt maker does is it heats up the water to not, it's going to heat it up to 99 degrees. And let's make sure that that's over a little bit. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So make sure it's over your yogurt. Because what is going to happen is that it will steam up a little bit and some of the water that's in there will kind of come up over here. So you want to make sure the whole thing is kind of covered. And be careful you don't put too much in and you're going to get water all over the place. So you don't want that. So, okay. So temp time. Now this is going to be, uh, this is of course in Fahrenheit. This is 99 degrees. Yours um, will probably be, I think it's around 37 degrees Celsius. Okay, we're done with that. We're gonna hit the start. Let's bump this up to 36. Let's 
a lot of beeping, isn't it? Okay, 36, and then we just hit start. And that's it. So it's a quick, uh, like, it's really just a quick, it can be a quick five minute process. Just put that stuff in, put it in here, hit the buttons, walk away, and then come back. So now it is um, 10 o'clock um, in the morning. So that means tomorrow, not in 10 o'clock in the morning, but 10 o'clock at night, we're going to have some great yogurt. So I will see you all again in just a little bit. All right, we got the flashing. It means it's done. So let's unplug it. pretty good looks solid uh, let's see so look like looks pretty good nice and solid really solid okay stick this in the fridge and see how it turns out okay good morning so we've this has been in the uh, fridge for about uh, nine ten hours and here's our super and that looks super look at that that's a nice consistency um, very solid uh, let's dig in here wow look at that that's nice golly look kind of uh, hard on top and a little creamy on the bottom what a neat consistency oh wow mm. oh that tastes really good okay so that's a gosh that's a winner right there and root rye let's check out this one now this is about the serving size uh, that you're going to have for if you do one um, one type of yogurt it's only a, a half of a cup which is 230 milliliters but since I'm consuming two yogurts and this is what I do um, all the time because I really like the benefits of Ruteri and I like all the different types of this their, their biotic yogurt there we go can okay, we taste this one too Mmm. Wow. Look at that. So this makes a really good yogurt. Really good. I think it's, um, it's definitely, uh, so the top layer is a little bit, um, it's kind of thick, right? But the bottom layers is still Greek yogurt, but look, it's kind of a softer yogurt. So I guess if you're looking for more, um, now granted, this depends on the ingredients, right? Um, the only thing I have to like simulate this half and half is the whole milk and the heavy cream. Now you're in the UK, you've got double cream, which is better. Um, other areas in the world, I'm sure you have much better uh, heavy cream or double cream. But it sure does make an interesting... Uh, interesting yogurt kind of soft and stuff so one thing you can do with ruderai now ruderai is kind of sharp and that's that's normal right so this is a good sharp yogurt um that's the taste of the bacteria that's just the way it is um if you have a lot of bacteria you can add honey honey will um really even out the taste and make that easier to eat for you um so yeah i think this um I think this is a winner for sure I like it tastes good um, has a neat consistency it's different so well the rest of the world may be onto something we maybe have it easy with our half and half in North America but y'all can make some definitely some good yogurt all right well I appreciate y'all watching um, take care and wish y'all the best